Well, hello everybody. Today I'm going to be translating a video from El Chapucero. And he did a really good job. Um, I know he's bilingual, but he usually doesn't translate his videos to English, so I'm going to um, share it with you. He did uh, such an excellent job on covering this morning's uh, conference, a particular part of it, which was related to um, a news lady that was there who kind of acted not right, not right uh, towards the president. So uh, go, I'm going to go ahead and play it, and then I'll translate the parts that need to be translated. So, so today, Jorge Ramos from Univision sent a reporter, Penny uh, Ramirez, Penny something Ramirez. It sounds like Penny May Ramirez. Llegó la mañanera y la vez que vamos a verlo, cómo intentó humillar. So he said. We're going to see how she attempted to humiliate the president. Presidente López Obrador. De una manera muy despectiva, honestamente horrible, ¿no? In a horrible, disrespectful way. Y bueno, lo cierto es que el presidente, ya viendo de dónde venía, de su división, Manuel ¿no? Jorge Ramos. So the president already knew that she was coming from, uh, where she was coming from, and she was because she was sent from Jorge Ramos from Univision. And he began to answer her and quieted her down. So he says, so now let's take a look at the interaction between this reporter and the president so you can look at it and make your own decision and form your own opinion about it. Sobre este desaguisar, honestamente, de Univision. Y después la pregunta es, ¿y dónde estuvo el Univision, por ejemplo, en la crisis de Ecuador? Pero... So he says, and then the question is, where was Univision when the crisis was happening in Ecuador? How come they didn't cover that? So let's take a look. Buenos días, soy Penny Ley Ramírez de Univision. Y tengo dos preguntas, una es sobre el tema y otra es sobre otro tema. El gobierno de Estados Unidos ha dicho que... So she says, I have two questions. One is regarding the matter we're discussing and another one is regarding something else. And the government of the United States has asked... El tráfico de fentanilo desde México... Um, and has noted that there's been uh, trafficking of fentanyl uh, from the U from the Mexico to the U.S. And it has become one of the greatest or largest causes of overdoses in the U.S. First of all, do you know what fentanyl is? So uh, this is where Chapucero gets upset. He says, here's where she started. He's offended by the question, do you know what fentanyl is? So here, he said, she started to, like, wanted to humiliate like asking, do you know what drugs are, Mr. President? Do you know that drugs kill? Do you know what fentanyl is? What? And then he says, what? In English, Spanglish. But I thought it was funny. So at this moment, I realized that she was sent in um, uh, to be like someone who is there to uh, beat down the president. And that was her, her uh, what they sent her for. So first question she said is, what is your government doing 
to stop the production of fentanyl in your country. Y su de México a Estados Unidos. And the trafficking from Mexico to the U.S. Yes. Y una de otro tema. And then I have a question from another matter. Trabajando en ello, es, este, una sustancia química. Yes, we've been working on it, and it's a chemical substance que se utiliza para hacer una droga que that is utilized to make a drug causa mucho daño. that causes a lot of harm. Son laboratorios que se instalan de manera clandestina They're, um, para... Uh, labs that are set up uh, and installed in a clandestine way. Yes, and they create a drug which is destructive. Completo. Y estamos nosotros haciendo un trabajo, un esfuerzo. Yes. So, uh, he says, and we're doing an effort. We're, we're working on it. And then this is where Chapucero says, uh, can you just take a look at the uh, monitor? And you can see that the communications department has put up a slide for her to see that, yes, they're aware of that, those medications. And if you look, you'll see that the first one it says Mona. It says, yes, if you take this, uh, you're going to uh, kill someone that, um, uh, that it's going to damage or destroy your uh, cerebrum or your brain. And then number two, fentanyl says, if you use fentanyl, uh, you may wind up in a coma. And then, uh, and then the number three says, if you inject heroin, then uh, you may get uh, infectious uh, diseases. Se dan cuenta, aquí los de comunicación social le ponen enfrente de la reportera de emisión precisamente la campaña oficial y donde ponen si también es fentanilo puedes quedar en estado de coma. Digo. Eh, mayor para eh, no permitir que, que este eh, tráfico de droga. So they're doing a uh, extensive job to try to uh, not not permit the trafficking of this drug. Se están, eh, We're destroying la laboratories constantly. And today we informed on the advance that we've made. And yes, the United States had always had already mentioned to us about their preoccupation with this, with this matter. And we've attended them and we've informed them. Just like we also We've also let them know about our preoccupations related to the contraband of arms. Yes, we're working in a joint manner. But it's not just one-sided from there to here or here to there. We are cooperating. Es decir, eh, buscando eh, resolver de manera conjunta. That is, we are looking to resolve this in a joint manner. Estos eh, temas, estos asuntos. These matters, Entonces, these things. Se han destruido muchas laboratorias. Nosotros hemos hecho, hecho una base de datos a partir so you say you've destroyed a lot of these um, uh, laboratories, but we've done a study and we found that that we only know of a few laboratories, according to your administration, and in a few of the uh, states in your country. Yes, we see laboratories but of other drugs, not necessarily the fentanyl. And that's why I'm asking you specifically about the fentanyl. 
qué resultados y qué retos usted ve todavía desde su administración para So what have you done specifically uh, you and your um, administration what have you done specifically to uh, deal with uh, the fentanyl compartir esta droga en particular pues si le parece le damos todo el informe so if you would like, we'll give you all the information here today, now. Oh, and El Chapucero has something to say about that. So he says, and just in case uh, they weren't, they thought we didn't, he didn't know about it, they put a slide with the fentanyl much bigger so they can see. <laughs> La campaña en frente de la reportera de Univision. So that she could see our campaign against drugs for the reporter to see from uh, Univision. Si es que fue una pregunta muy humillante, honesta. So honestly, I felt that question was very humiliating. Realmente muy mala leche. And very poorly, uh, done in poor taste. Este, tenemos sobre lo que hemos hecho. Yes, so today we'll give you all the documentation uh, regarding that. So she says that we uh, made a program or did a show uh, last night regarding some uh, recordings that we acquired uh, regarding uh, some matter with uh, Pemex. Una demanda que se presentó en un tribunal arbitral en Canadá. That was presented to a tribunal uh, in arbitrary tribunal in Canada. Yo sé que usted se refirió ya ayer a ese tema. And I know that you referred to that uh, matter yesterday. Eh, que apuntan a presuntos actos de corrupción y sobornos en Pemex durante la administración. So, it, uh, it points out that there was um, some, um, uh, what do you call it, bribes and uh, that happened during the previous administration. Administración anterior. Eh, y sobre eso tendría dos preguntas. La primera. And regarding that, I have two questions, and the first is, Aunque los hechos que se relatan son de la administración anterior, sabemos que al ser una demanda en un tribunal arbitral del Tratado de Libre Comercio, So because it's um, uh, a um, uh, inquest that's been done arbitrarily at uh, the free trade uh, place, um, uh, and we know it it's not from your administration, it's a pre-existing situation, but we want to know es una demanda contra el gobierno de México, es decir, que su el gobierno que usted encabeza de... So she says, but it's against your government, the government you are the head of. Debe responder a ella aunque los hechos relatados no hayan sido de esta administración. So will you respond to that even though the actions happened uh, in the previous administration, not on your administration. Nos interesa saber cuál sería la respuesta de su gobierno a esta demanda en el tribunal. So she says, uh, we want to know what would be the response of your government uh, to the tribunal regarding this manner or matter. Internacional y en segunda, si su gobierno está iniciando ya eh, o está haciendo ya investigaciones para tratar de confirmar o, o negar en México. So she says, and we want to know if your government is doing anything now to confirm or deny any of the accusations or allegations that were made. Todo este cúmulo de acusaciones que como usted ya se refirió tocan a altos funcionarios de la administración anterior. And she said, as you uh, previously mentioned, do have to do with high... Uh, government officials in the previous administration. Sí, lo hemos yes, we have already turned them in. We've permanently notified them. Este, Pemex eh, era una de las empresas 
So he says Pemex was one of the companies of the nation that was most affected by corruption. It was one of the most looted institutions. With the pretext or the excuse of the neoliberal politics. That's why we we need to contextualize these things. Because they encouraged privatization. And in that political economics that was imposed upon us by foreign forces or foreign governments. So we must not forget that the so-called structural reforms they were defined in this foreign place, which I believe is the U.S. And it could be Great Britain, but it was definitely uh, external sources. Energy reform. The, okay, um, the legal, laboral, and educational. That was their agenda. The, that they were imposing on us from this foreign place. So they were looked upon well and had protection from by the great media of communication. So right there, that's where he starts to tell her, the media like Univision, like Televisa. Yes, you, all of you. The truth is now he's letting her know. So the periodicals and the televisions were supporting this all this politics. They never paid, they never noticed that uh, Mexico was being looted. On the contrary, if anyone opposed it, they disqualified him. Yes, I encountered that myself. So now, before the, the, the action, that were disastrous and the failure of that neoliberal economics and these cases of corruption it's a matter that was already known that we'd already turned in and now they now these audio tapes all of a sudden appeared and so they're uh, putting them out and and trying to um, show them off but it's a matter that's been going on from years past she says, I'm thankful or grateful for your whole uh, contextualization, but what I want to know is what is your answer going to be regarding the fentanyl? Mm -hmm. Or I'm sorry, not the fentanyl, <laughs> regarding what are you going to say to the, uh, to the people uh, regarding the case? So regarding concretely the 
the lawsuit. Yes, there has been a, um, a complaint by this company, Oro Negro, which is black gold. Yes, as it turns out, they were being investigated in Mexico, and now they go to a foreign country to put in their complaint. Yes, and they feel offended. So they have a, uh, now put a complaint against Pemex. And we are responding to that demand or that complaint. So for us, to tell you with all clarity, Son they are the same. O sea, no vemos we see no difference between the Entre two. Y between the ones who are complaining and the ones who have the complaint placed on them. Because the owners of this company um, because they are coming from the government. The director of this company is the son of, of the man who was secretary of Hacienda. Fox during the, uh, the uh, President Fox's uh, time. And if you take a look at their past history, then you will know what this Secretary of Hacienda did. During the uh, uh, period that uh, Vicente Fox was uh, governing, Entonces, eh, él, eh, o su hijo, so he or his son, es una de las es el que that is one of the uh, offended parties. Contrata, de acuerdo a la información periodista, so according to the uh, news information, he's one of the ones that contracted a company, a una agencia de investigación, an investigative agency eh, from a foreign place a cabo to, la to uh, take an investigation. Y so they go to the phones and they listen. ¿Sí? So they, so they listen to conversations as according to the information that I was given. So if I'm taking a long time to answer your question, it's because I want the citizens to have all the information, all the data all the elements regarding this situation Para no ser so that they will not be manipulated no es de y malos. because this is not a case of good versus bad insisto, este, en los dos lados, en las dos here I insist that both parties sí, hay have responsibility Y el gobierno nuestro and our government no va a permitir la corrupción. will not permit corruption. Ya nosotros no eh, vamos a continuar. We are not going to continue. No estamos continuando con la política de saqueo. 
we are not continuing with the politics allowing the looting y no se va a a nadie and we will not permit anyone que lucre to have a lucrative con la hacienda pública. with uh, the public hacienda sea quien sea. it doesn't matter who it is Justamente en esa parte, como una bandera muy importante en su gobierno es el combate a la corrupción. Yes, precisely, your, uh, uh, that part there, you, you've said and you've held up your banner, anti-corruption. Y digamos, el caso tiene dos partes en, esta, en ese contexto. Pues, yes, in the context that you said it, this has two parts. Se ha dado para, para toda su audiencia. Una es... ¿Cómo responde su gobierno? Se dice que están presentando una querella para defenderse. So she says, so uh, we wanted to see how your government responded and, and you said that you guys are going to present your case. ¿Y qué investigaciones va a hacer su el gobierno que está en cabeza a partir de todas las rebeldes? And so what, also, what investigations is your government going to do when, uh, according to everything that was revealed on the tapes? Investigaciones que tenemos en estos audios y se lo pregunto porque anoche publicamos en Univision esta investigación and I say this because yesterday uh, we put on Univision this investigation eh, a partir de una denuncia de hechos que presentó Pemex en julio de 2018 en el... and this is related to a demand that Pemex presented in July 2018 que ya Pemex pedía a la entonces Procuraduría General de la República at that time, Pemex was asking for an investigation at that time to the Attorney General. So she wants to know what's happened with this case that, you know, she hears that uh, apparently nothing's happened. It's just kind of sitting there. No, no, no ha avanzado más allá de la parte it de has not advanced y nos interesa mucho saber and si we're, su gobierno está we're interested very much in knowing if your government is investigando y va a investigar is investigating and will investigate a las personas mencionadas en estos audios the people that were mentioned in these audios se lo digo así I'm gonna tell you like this de manera eh, rápida, rápida, categórica in a rapid, categoric manner, eh, no se acepta, eh, en este gobierno, la corrupción. in this government, we do not accept corruption, Ni hay impunidad. and there is no impunity. Todo lo que deba de investigarse por todo. So everything that needs to be investigated or should be investigated regarding corruption will take its course or run its course and it will be attended to Todo. all of it so the, but this this matter had this claim had not advanced up until now Perhaps it's with the uh, attorney generals. Yes, it is with the attorney general. Yes, of course. That is one of the changes that has occurred in our country. Now, the uh, uh, attorney general is autonomous. De todas formas, lo que corresponde a nosotros, but in any case, that which corresponds to us, este, se envía a la fiscalía. we deliver to the uh, Attorney General. Y yo tengo confianza en que en la fiscalía se van a atender todos estos asuntos. And I have confidence that at the Attorney General's office, all these matters will be attended to. Como nunca. Like never before. Eh, ahora, now, eh, se está, eh, aplicando la ley. we are applying the law. Ya no hay, eh, 
There is no influentialism. Ya no es lo mismo. It is not the same que antes. as before. Entonces, so now, estas these complaints este will curso. run their course y, and eh, todo lo que tenga que ver con nosotros, all that has to do with us y que and that means eh, corruption, corruption and that has anything to do with corruption is presented immediately to the district, I'm sorry, the Attorney General. But because they're autonomous, the uh, Carlo Hertz uh, Attorney General, very uh, upright man, that will give attention to these matters. And a matter that's also very important that I want to say, and I want to take advantage to clarify something because it's my job to inform. Before, this would not prosper because, yes, because this was from July 2018. It was a regimen of corruption and they used to compose and they used to cover up and there he's giving her an indirect. You couldn't touch the untouchables, but it's not like that anymore. That has ended. We do not permit impunity anymore for anybody. But the audios also mention the possibility that there was some kind of uh, illegal, uh, uh, but there was some kind of illegal funding for Peña Nieto's campaign. And he says, yeah, but that's kind of like discovering warm water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. So, yeah. Yes, of course. I've written about it. I've told on them. And the whole world knows about it. And could your administration also investigate this? Everything that can be investigated with the competent authorities. If there are some open investigations, let them go forward. I sustained at the initiation of my uh, commission that we were not going to initiate a persecution against anyone because they were accustomed to doing that before in these spectacular acts in order to legitimize themselves so you must know that they're saying that your people have gone after a lot of people, but they didn't. You never went after Peña Nieto. Es que dijimos que nosotros no íbamos a iniciar. Yes, that's, that's right. Because we said that we would not be initiating. Ninguna este investigación any investigation eh, against the ex-presidents because we would need to uh, call to accounting a Salinas, a Cedillo, Salinas Cedillo a Fox, Fox Calderón, Calderón and Peña Nieto. Y yo De que eso, and I proposed that that eh, no era was not actually convenient 
So that what was best was to look ahead or look forward. Y poner un punto final. And to put a final point on this, an ending point. Que era más importante. That it was more important eh, dejar de manifiesto. to leave as a manifesto que el modelo neoliberal that the neoliberal model impulsado por conservadores corruptos that was um, encouraged by corrupt uh, conservatives eh, era dañino, was that was completely damaging Eso era lo más that that was most important de todo. Y que si la gente but that if the people decidía decided que sí se les debía juzgar, that we did need to judge the ex-presidents no so that we wouldn't go simply against the um, lower people which were used as scapegoats, as the custom was. But if the people said, no, we must judge them, in that case, yesterday, fortunately already, they approved in the Senate, but we still need the, the deputies. La reforma, el 35, the reform to Article 35 so that they can take into uh, uh, accounting uh, consultations Ciudadanos. of citizens. En este caso, and in this sí, case, este, se esta reforma, if they approve this reform, y la gente dice, Vámonos a la consulta para and if the people say, let's go consult and judge them, a los ex these ex-presidents, este, I would then have to obey the people. A los mexicanos, the Mexican people, no, obey them. No, no. Manda. no the people eh, are in charge. But me, as a citizen, I would continue to defend that point, that it would be better to think in the future. So, so what do you think of this reporter from Univision? from Jorge Ramos with this grotesque attitude that was attempting to humiliate the president. But you know, the president already had such a callous. And then telling her indirectly about their uh, part in it, the, the media. So, but one thing you must notice is that again, the United States is sending their people to the morning conferences to try to sabotage Andres Lopez Obrador. So he says, thank you very much. And that's everything for today. But you know, I really, um, I really agree with uh, what I saw today. I, I felt pretty much the same. And I do want to tell you, if you enjoyed this and you like this type of video, um, like and subscribe. I had to repeat it because earlier today, something happened with my recording. Uh, it hadn't uh, messed up sound and it was shutting down and slowing up and so i just went ahead and re-recorded it um and hopefully you'll be able to enjoy this one better because that other one uh, 
was horrible. So I had to down, uh, remove and re-download uh, my uh, equipment for OBS. Um, and do do all the settings all over again to make sure everything was perfect. So I hope you enjoy this and uh, Thank you very much. Make sure you like and subscribe and send me comments because I love hearing your comments and um, I love the uh, Criticisms because sometimes I do mess up and I I can't think of the word and I'm sorry about that but um, You know, it's I'm still human <laughs> so uh, I'll be happy to uh, continue to do this and have a great day. Please like and subscribe. Goodness, I can't find the off button.